Jason from Pro Guitar Studio. Today we're going to focus on a three string picking pattern on the first three strings of your guitar. Now the notes that I'm choosing here um, sound really cool as well but they're sort of secondary to what I want to show you here. So my focus today was to work on picking patterns and this is what I ended up creating. So dive right in with me and we're going to take a look at the piece that I, I sort of wrote for you and we're also going to talk about the picking pattern and different ways you can pick through this. Okay so uh, first off, we're going to play the 12th fret on the G string and 12th fret on the B string, leaving the E string open, okay, so 12, 12, 0. I have a bit of delay on my amp tone, but you don't need to delay to make it sound good here. So on this chord here, we'll call this a chord, this is basically I'm thinking E minor as we go through this. Alright, so to get started with this pattern, we're going to do this pattern where we go 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2. 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2. Right now, on this first chord here, we're going to do that pattern twice. So it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 note pattern. Now, before we move on to the next chord, how I'm doing, or how I'm picking this, I'm picking down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And there's different ways you could do this. So what I'm doing here, I'm focusing on what I call outside picking or what is referred to as outside picking. So I'm picking on the outside of the third and first string because for me, my hands are a little bigger. It makes more sense. I find myself much more rhythmic or becoming much more rhythmic when I do these outside picking patterns. If I focus on inside picking, let's say doing up, down, up, down. It would be up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. That pattern for me is a little more awkward and it doesn't keep me in time as well. So I, I stay much more in time when I do the outside picking. For me it also makes sense because the downbeat is on the down pick. So um, just in terms of how I've played over the years, I always like to have the downbeat on the down pick if I can. So versus, okay so I'm doing down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. You could also do up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, sorry. Up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. And that's inside picking. Or you can simply pick all down picks if you feel like that's very confusing. To get started, okay? So don't worry about being perfect here. Um, there's, there's no sense sort of going too much into detail and in the technicalities of this. We're just trying to get you to play these picking patterns. And if it means you have to pick all down picks, To stay in time, that's cool. I'm doing the alternate picking option with the outside picking. Because I keep in time much better that way. Like I said, you could also do the inside picking. So for me, it's, it's less motion, but it's a little more awkward, okay? So that's the first chord, the E minor shape. Now, the same picking pattern will apply all the way throughout here. So we're gonna keep repeating that. We're gonna to go to the next chord, which is, I'm thinking of a D chord here, so the, the bass and the, the low end is gonna play a D, but I'm playing the E on top, so we have a D with an E, so it's basically a D sus two, I guess we could say, or not sus two, D add nine would be the way we look at this, because we have a third interval here. We're gonna play the third string on the 11th fret, open, first string, 10th fret, second string. And then we're gonna play nine and eight, so same thing here, and I'm thinking of the C chord here. Okay, so we have the third interval, and we have the fifth, and then also the third again on top. Now notice as I'm going through these shapes here, for the E minor, I'm using my middle finger on string three. Same for the D, I'm using my middle finger on the third, and just use my index on the second. Okay, now also these collection of notes here, so we have these two notes here, these are referred to as third intervals. Okay, so there are three notes apart in the scale. In this case here, we can say there are three notes apart in the E minor scale. G and B, okay, so G, we skip A and we go to B. F sharp and A, so F sharp, skip G, go to A. And we also have E and G. E, skip F, go to G, or skip F sharp. So that kind of sound there is the third intervals. All right, but we're using the first string as our like nice drone or pedal tone here. So we're gonna do that twice. Now 
Now the next chord I'm thinking of is an A minor, so I'm going to go to the 5th fret, 3rd string and 5th fret, 2nd string and 5th fret. Same picking pattern here, twice. And then the next chord I think of is a B minor, so the root note goes to the B, but I'm going to go my middle finger on 7, ring finger on 7, because we have an F sharp here, so we're going to keep that as the same kind of 3rd interval here, a major 3rd. Alright, so if we think of this as a B in the bottom, the E is an 11, so we can call this a B minor at 11 if you wanted to. This is just an A minor. B minor at 11. Back to A minor. Alright, then at the very end we go back to the E. It just as a little something different here at the end. So same pattern twice. And we're going to go to the 11 and 10th fret here for like the D chord. And then we're going to switch right away. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 to 14 and 13. Okay, now my bass note goes to an F sharp. So what I'm thinking here is an F sharp diminished or minor 7 flat 5 chord. Depends on how you look at it. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. I think I threw the pattern off there. Yeah, so at the end, that pattern does change because I just go with strings 1, sorry, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Yeah, so that part, I don't do that same existing pattern. Good thing I thought of that there. And you can, you can play around with that at the very end, try to figure out what works for you to finish it, but um, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, and I think actually in the recording I went, So three one two three one two three one two three one two three one three two, just to throw you off a little bit there. That's definitely what I did in the recording. So I'll make sure to reflect that for anyone, for all students here. If you want to look at the tablature, uh, and you go to the student area, you can find that written out, so you can see that pattern. All right, so there you go. So a different pattern at the end there. Now this all together is just really here to work on your picking skills, but it can be a lot of fun to play along with something like this. Um, so I will include a link to the backing track. So if you follow the description of this video, you'll be able to download that track and just hear it looped over and over. Um, I did add a solo at the end of that. I won't include the solo in the actual recording you're gonna hear, um, but that's a lot of fun to play with. So I'm just using the E minor scale or you can use the E minor pentatonic. So try to throw both of those in there and uh, they give you some nice variety in terms of melody. Now from the start again, so we start from the E minor. One, two, three, four. There you go, a nice three string pattern. Tons of songs will use these kind of patterns and whether you're playing on the thinnest three strings or the thickest three, um, there's a whole variety of ways to use these, right? So just to give you some ideas, if you're playing a power chord. Let's take out that delay here. So it works in that context if you're doing different kinds of chords. All right, so just some ideas you can think of. This pattern can be applied in many ways. So try to make up your own thing that will apply this pattern. Choose some chords, even open chords. That works nicely, the C.
and I'm sure there's many songs out there that use this exact pattern that I'm doing. So if you can think of some of those, let me know. Thanks for getting to the end of this video, by the way. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this each week. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know below, and I'll see you soon.